Hello everyone, what we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to use Adobe Photoshop to create a hero image for use on a website. So what I've done is, uh, I'm just in Wix at the moment and just browsing the templates. I've just gone into photography, travel and documentary, and I've just chosen this photography folio one here to edit. So I've already got that open. Now if I click in the different sections in Wix, um, you can see that we've got this hero image here and if I go to this box over here you can actually see the dimensions the width and height dimensions okay and we're going to use these numbers to um, loosely create our Photoshop document with so if we go into Photoshop and then we go to create new what we want to do is we'll probably let's choose the web preset up here and let's just choose web large and we're not going to change the width we're going to leave the width at 1920 pixels but we'll change the height to roughly if we go back to have a look 672 in height we're going to change it let's do it about 700 so that our um, hero image will we will be able to replace it with the one that we're going to create so let's change the height to 700 and we don't need to touch anything else because we've used the web template our resolution is 72 rgb color that's great um, let's click create and now we've got our document to the size that we want okay now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to file and place the image or the photograph that we're going to use let's choose place embedded for now and I've got this photo here sorry that I took on my mobile phone a while ago and let's place it in the document here now the first thing that we're going to do is just resize this image so that it fits in the template that we created so we might zoom out by holding command and pressing minus on the keyboard um, and we're just going to uh, grab the corners and make this bigger so that it fits across the full width of our document and then what you can do is you can just click hold and drag in the middle and you can arrange this till you get something that looks um, that looks nice obviously you don't want to do something like this because you lose a lot of the detail so you know it's to be up to the individual image that you use that looks pretty good to me um, once you're happy with it press return or enter on the keyboard okay now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to adjust the color of this uh, before we start i might zoom back in hold a command and press plus once on the keyboard and we're going to adjust the color of this image uh, to make it a little bit nicer to look at because this is straight off the mobile phone and we can improve this quite a bit by using um, what we call in photoshop as adjustment layers so the first one we're going to add is an, a levels adjustment layer so if you find levels here and you click on that um, you'll notice there's a, a new adjustment layer appears here and a dialog box will open uh, and you've got this mountain of pixels here now each image will look a bit different and a nice thing to do to start with is just to grab the dark and the light slider and just move them to the bottom of the mountain and you can see the adjustments taking place in real time there um, and grab the light the white slider and move it to the start at the bottom of the mountain and if I just close that and we have a look you can see already it's improving this image quite a bit um, the, the eye the eye icon toggles the effect on and off okay so you can see the original was quite um, a bit hazy a bit washed out and now we've got more um, detail back in this photograph here now let's add another one um, a curves adjustment layer and what this will do is this will just a bit similar to the levels it'll just up the brightness and contrast a little bit and we'll open this up this dialog box will appear and a nice thing to do is just to click one and hold with once up here and you'll get a little icon and you can just brighten it up a little bit just slightly and depends on the image okay if I go way out here that's way too bright and we're losing a lot of detail in the sky and the water so with this image let's just I might just brighten it a little bit and over here let's darken the darks just a little bit so that it, we've got a bit more high contrast here um, obviously again don't do something like that because you lose all the detail so just little adjustments let's close that and again we can toggle that on and off all right and you can see it's made a little bit more of an improvement there okay it's a little bit more clear okay now the next one we're going to add is um, uh, I'll just show you this one this is a black and white adjustment layer so if you wanted to make an image black and white uh, from color just use this and um, up here you'll see all these sliders 
Um, what these sliders will do is this will just um, sh find the different colours in the image, such reds and yellows, for example, or greens, and it'll just lighten and darken them. Now, obviously, this image here, if I just hide this for a minute, has no red in it. So if we move the red slider, nothing's going to happen. Okay, Command Z to undo that, just to put it back to the middle. Whoops, there we go. Um, now, obviously, this photo has a lot of blues and, and um, greens probably in it. So if I move the blue slider, you can see that it's going to darken those blues and it actually makes the sky start to look a lot more dramatic there. Okay, but for this, for my image, I don't really, I like it in colour, so I'm just going to um, click, hold and drag, and put this in the trash can because I don't want that layer anymore. And I'm going to show you, we'll do one more, just a colour fill and we'll use some adjustment layers as well. So let's click our adjustment layer button again. Let's go to solid colour. All right, and um, it, we're just going to put a solid color adjustment layer on it doesn't matter about the color for now because we can change that click ok and we can't see anything so we might use the blending mode here to blend this layer with the ones underneath it so we can actually see what's going on and if you just scroll down you can see the effects that are taking place obviously some are going to work a lot better than others so if that looks quite nice just choose one that you like and what we're going to do is we're going to lower the opacity of the effect. So I think for me, soft light looks quite nice. Or um, uh, which one was that? Color dodge looks is looking okay. Um, I'll do soft light. Okay, and again, each image will be different. And if you wanted to change the color, just double click this, move the dialog box a little bit so you can uh, see it, and you can have a look at what some of the other colors can do. And again, you can move this to give you different tones of each color. All right, I'm gonna go back to the purple because that looked quite nice. All right, and it is too purple, so the last thing you can do is you can play around and take out the fill or the opacity, and it, the opacity just you know hides, hides the effect, so we can't see it, or we can only just slightly see a little bit of that purple. So a nice little purpley tinge or something in the image uh, could look nice. Uh, if we do the fill, it basically, it pretty much does the same thing as opacity, okay? All right, so the last thing we're going to do is export this for use on the web. So let's go to File, let's go to Export, and Photoshop has a Save for the Web option here, which is great. Um, you can see I'm in the 2UP panel here, or we can go to Original or 2UP. This just shows you the original, original Photoshop document and this will show what the exported JPEG version will look like. I've, make sure you've got JPEG selected. Um, and the quality, uh, usually for a Wix website, 80 to 90 is good. Obviously, if I click here and move the slider up to 100, down here you can see the size of the image, which is 944 kilobytes. Um, obviously, to optimize something for the web, so it loads, it loads quicker, we want smaller file sizes and without compromising too much in quality. So we'll leave it at 80 and you can see the size of the image is what we set it to. We can preview it in a web browser if we want with that button. And there it is there, that looks quite nice. Um, all right, back to Photoshop. Once you're happy with it, click save, give it a name. I've already done mine, so I'm not gonna save it again and just click done. All right, and let's have a look at the, um, if I go back here, and from that to that. And now the final thing we're going to do is add our edited photograph up to our Wix website. So to do that, let's go back into the template we chose and select the um, hero image section, um, which you can see is my header design here. And if we choose change images, um, and we go to add images. You'll need to upload your photograph that you edited. Uh, I've already done it to save a bit of time and we're going to select it. We're going to add it to our gallery and simply add it in there and then click done. And then let's replace that image. Um, now you can preview it in the browser just by clicking the button up here and there you have it.